What's up guys? It is Monday. Joe's here, his truck's outside. They're grinding some stumps right here next to the shop. So it's kind of loud. So we brought it in here and that way you guys can actually hear what we're talking about. But anyway. It's a corner right here too. <laughs> yeah, air conditioning in the shop is, everybody should have that. But Joe's got some cool new, two, cool new tools we're gonna take a look at. So you guys stick around. How y'all doing? Um, hope y'all had a good weekend. I know I've been busy doing a lot of getting ready for Memorial Day. No, I just found that out about 10 o'clock today. Oh, yeah. So next weekend's Memorial Day. Great weekend. Absolutely. There'll be a chance for me actually to get kind of caught up with myself. Yep. But one of the things I got is a UV black light. Okay. And this thing. I mean, there's, there's no dye on there, but it shows right. up. But what you can do is you can focus this beam from a flood to a spot. Okay. So you get more intense on what you're looking at. It's rechargeable, comes with the glasses. I got these on sale for 85 bucks. Okay. It don't look bright in here, guys, but my shop don't. is super, 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 super bright. <laughs> So. You know, lighting in the shop is everything. Yeah. And you got it. You really got yeah. it going on. I do. I and, spent a lot of money on lights. And we mentioned before, it's cooler in here. It's it's starting to turn summer out here Absolutely. for us. Absolutely. I got power probe, the micro torch. I mean, it'll stand by itself. You got the nice space for it. it uses butane. And these things are incredible. They work. I mean, they just turn on. Yeah. Um, I think the one I have at home that's been... I think left outside a couple times during the night time, everything, you know, five, six years later, it's still working great. Just yep. put a little butane in it. These here are 85 bucks as well. Okay. I got the direct mount. Um, it mounts directly on your four-wheeler, lawnmower, mm -hmm. ATV, whatever you want to do, but it's a uh, NOCO Genesis 2. What they do is they maintain your battery so that when you go out there, you don't have to give it a jump, say, oh, I give it a jump, it works. But when it discharges all the way and then you gotta jump it and run it, it discharges all the way, that's what kills the battery. Yep. Just keeps it happy. You get done running, playing, this is all on your machine. Mm -hmm. All you do is take the cord, plug it into your extension cord or in the wall wherever you got parked. Yep. And that battery is always ready to go. You don't have to mess around, oh, I got find a charger I got to put cables on it I this, actually bought one of those and I put it on my tractor I've got one on my lawnmower and yep. I've got one on my four-wheeler yep I don't have to have one on my side by side because we use it enough to keep it keep doing it no always problem, happy but, but yeah so. these these are incredible they're they just save you all the all the hassle of mm -hmm. and they're easy to install and we like easy easy we like easy it comes with like a little clip and then it's got like a Velcro strap that wraps around it. There you go, you can see it there. There, but I think super, this other- Super, super simple. Other picture to, shows it here. To put on, so. So yeah. Um, really nice. Tuck it out of the way, it's nice and neat. It's always ready to go. And that way that you're not having to buy battery as often. That's it. And that saves you a ton of money. What I like about it, you don't have to walk back and get a jump box when you get ready to cut your grass or at the beginning of the spring, your battery's not dead and no. won't take a charge back. You have to buy a new battery yep. and it's much nicer. So check out these from Vim. Nice handle, Torx. So what happens is I, I'm talking to one of my one of my guys. He says, Joey says, I need a set of Torx screwdrivers that's like this long. Yeah. And I go, you do. He goes, yeah, there's some headlight brackets. So if you're in the body shop or you got to fool around some headlight brackets, you need one this long. Mm -hmm. I says, well, let me see. And I, you know, we're in the back of my truck. I put one of these boxes out and 
he's like, his eyes just light up. He says, that's exactly what I was looking for. Yeah. I go, well, I got to set here for you. <laughs> Sometimes it works like that. But the grip, grip's good. Yeah. It's, uh, I think it's T8 to T30 on here. And that's the gecko grip. It's, it's kind of describe that to everybody because, I mean, until you feel it, it you don't realize what's going on. It fits in your on. hand. It's, it's almost textured at the gum, but it don't. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, it won't slip. It feels tacky, but it's... It's not. It's not. It's yeah. kind of hard to describe that. Yeah. But it's kind like a soft, squishy, but it's still firm. Kind of like I know that's kinda silly putty, but it's not. Contradicting to itself. So how many more ways can we say that? And too, it's safe for guys that use Skydroll. It won't, it yep. won't mess them up, so it's yeah. safe to and use. And these are 75 bucks. Okay. So. It's a six piece set. Yep, six piece set. set. So. Cool. So yeah, it gets it's a T8 to T30. Did you give a price on this? I, I did know. not. Um, okay. Because I figure somebody will ask. Yep, somebody asked, but that'll be a good thing to text <laughs> me about because I went brain dead on it. There you go. All right, it's guys. Monday. Anything you need, anything you see, or anything you want, you can always yep. text Joe's number 731 412 7295. So, there you have it. Anything? Have Seven, a great two, holiday two. coming up. That's it. It's going to be a day off. That'll be nice. It'll be a day off to be doing a whole lot more than what you normally <laughs> do. Is that not something, though? Every time you have a holiday coming up, like you have to work your butt off. Because you know, usually got people coming over, so you do like we're going to start tomorrow. So it'll be like work all the way up until Sunday to have one day off. Yeah. It's almost easier if you don't have that day off yep. to and, to, and then at to work, work you, up for. And then at work, you got to make sure enough is done so that work is covered for Monday. Yep. And and then when you come back Tuesday is a nightmare because it's, it's still you're backed behind. up it's still from behind. Monday and Friday. So. There's always somebody saying we need more tools no what we need to do is just have a four-day work week three-day weekend every like they need to adopt a 10-hour work day yep. everybody works monday they're, through thursday they're trying that that'd be great it would be great i and, would like it then the workaholics will have a three-day workplace somewhere else well say the way i look at it it wouldn't really be a three days off you'd have one day to get your stuff done around the house one day to do whatever you want to do like if you want to play golf or go hunting or whatever you could do that on saturday right and then sunday you could rest that day so you don't yeah. try to cram in a full work day and squeeze golf or hunting in on the same saturday yeah so, there yeah you go. just gotta figure it out i, I like it so <laughs> let's go with that all right guys if you like the video hit that thumbs up check over for merchandise cool tools and discount codes down here in the description if you're not subscribed Take your it's finger, free. click that button. You guys have a great week. Catch you later. See ya.